Hi, I'm Alistair, and today we're going to talk about how we can configure the Advantech Adam 6250 remote I.O. device, which talks Modbus TCP, to a commonly used Mitsubishi FX5 UC PLC. It's really easy to do, and this video will show you exactly what's needed in order to achieve this. The first thing we need to do is configure the FX5 UC PLC to be a Modbus TCP client. It's really easy to do. All you need to do is go on the Mitsubishi website and download the Modbus TCP client function block. You import it into the PLC using GXWork3, um, write it into the PLC and do a power cycle so that the parameters take effect. And then on the Adam unit, it's a web server based product. So you need to go onto the Adam um, website and download the Apex utility software. Once you've downloaded that, all you need to do is hook the Adam unit up to your PC and configure your coils within the software. You can select whatever coils you want to use. Um, as default, I think they're set to uh, 1000. So once the hardware has been configured, we're then good to go. What I've done for the purpose of this demo is set up a Mitsubishi GOT2000 HMI with push buttons and LEDs. And the idea is that we'll send a signal to the Mitsubishi PLC and the Mitsubishi PLC will send a modbus signal out to the Advantech um, 6250, which is then connected to a multicolored beacon. So if I press the push button on the HMI, it illuminates the LED uh, and illuminates the beacon. As you can see, it's gone red. The next push button illuminates the beacon as orange, green, blue, clear and reset. So it's as simple as that really. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you've got any other questions on the Advantech range of products, please feel free to um, click on the link in the comments.